this place holy shit who the fuck is this Bahamut Isn't Bahamut the fucking dragon that you summon in the other Final Fantasies? I know this shit, I played of other Final Fantasies. They stand against the darkness and abide in hope. Sustained by faith unfaltering that their king shall arise and bring deliverance. By the covenants awakened, the six have seen the coming of the prophesied hour. A time when the crystal shall have shed the entirety of its light unto the ring. Only then, once the sacred ring is replete, can the true king complete his ascension. By the true king's hand, can the immortal accursed be banished and the light restored to this world? I could fucking see his eyes. I didn't know he, he, he had eyes. Well, I know he has eyes, but I thought it was gonna be like blacked out or something like that. Like it's like a helmet or something. A man cursed with life eternal. Whose immortality stems from the self-same scourge that wrought the demons. One so impure of body and soul was deemed unworthy of the crystal's light and forbidden to ascend. His mind twisted by spite and bent on revenge, the usurper came to bring darkness down upon our world. Only the true king, chosen by the crystal and guarded by his forebears, can end the accursed's madness. That was kind of creepy what he did. Just turn around and give him that creepy smile at us. What the fuck was that? It is the sole means to ending the immortal accursed. Greater than even that of the Six, purifying all by the light of the crystal and the glaives of rulers past. Only at the throne can the Chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life, his own. granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the usurper and usher in dawn's light will cost the life of the chosen. Many sacrificed all for the king, so must the king sacrifice himself for all. Enter into reflection, let the light of providence shine within.
What the fuck? How long, how long was he in there? <laughs> Holy shit! How the fuck? Okay, okay, I get some of it. Um, Arjun is an ancestor of Noctis. Because he's immortal, so he has to be like, I don't know, great, great, great grandfather or something like that? I don't know. And that he wants revenge because maybe the, the he wasn't chosen by the king. Let's see. What else? He must sacrifice his own life to kill all the demons. And I think I, I know what happened right now. I know why. Uh, that he was a, a, some kind of... A, was he asleep or was it... I think he was asleep. Trying to like, I don't know, like... Give power to the ring. Like he's trying to charge it. Like all the happy memories, I think. He said the the wax of light is full. Something like that, what the Muhammad said. Umbra! Oh my god. Umbra. Be waiting in Hammerhead. Holy shit. Is this the last mission? Is this the last campaign? Are you with me? Are you gonna like... You're actually with me. Oh shit. What the fuck happened here? Holy shit. How long was he out? He, he grown a fucking beard and a mustache. <laughs> How long was he out? Like a, almost a couple of years. Uh, what happened to this place? It used to be a beautiful place. But you demons are making your home here, aren't you? I just saw you just like laying and sitting down. What the fuck are these little shits? Tough. These are tough little motherfuckers. I would like a fucking engine with this fucking move. Oh my god, they're strong. They're strong. They're strong. Kill him. Kill him. Just die. <laughs> You're not immortal. But should I just run? He did ma magic. Oh shit! Oh, I'm killing fast. Holy shit! Bitch, you too. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm killing everything so fast. Can 
I talk to you? No, I cannot talk to you. Holy shit. This used to be a beautiful place, but it's not. Oh, my God, bitch. I'll fucking kill you far away. Yeah, come over here, bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. This fucking ring. It's a giant, iron giant. He's running over here. My god. Ugh, bitch! I got both of them. I got both of them. <laughs> oh, that's what you get, you fucks. Woo! Do I actually have to, like, walk over there? No, 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 there has to be something here. Fuck! I actually have to fucking run over there. Alright. Took a little break. This place. <laughs> I have to walk all the way over there. Wait, where do I have to walk? To the fucking. Right here? I thought I had to go. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Looks different. Wait, isn't it where Cindy is? Like, where was Cindy? Like, Cindy's garage. It wasn't, like, right here? Or, I, I pretty much forgot. Or, like, or it's this place, isn't it? Yeah, it's this, this. Shit, shit. I pretty much forgot. Oh, you fucking kidding me? What the fuck is that? Ready for this? Demon wall? What the fuck is that? It's level 84. Where the fuck is, did it go? Oh. Bitch. Can I kill it with this? I missed. Oh, I, I'm gonna die? The demon's on the wall. Fuck, I had to run. I had to run. Fuck you! Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? It didn't work? Well, I'm out. Goddamn, that's 84. Where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> oh my god, there are demons everywhere. Wait, have I faced those demons? I I think I never faced them. Yeah, they're they're blue. They have blue flames. I never faced these beings, and I don't want to. Wait, can I talk to you? No, I cannot talk to you. I thought I could talk to you. Okay, well, I gotta put some elixir. There's gonna be another fucking demon in the wall. Yep, another demon in the wall. Kill him, kill him this time. Kill him. Is he dead? Don't tell me you missed. Yes! Fuck you! <laughs> oh, I fucking got him. Fucking bastard. <laughs> oh, I fucking like this move. It's like one hit kill. Oh, shit. Let, let me see his bio, this fucking demon. Uh, let's see. Ravis, we read that before. Yeah, we didn't know what the fuck are you? What the fuck is this little shit? A demon, demon that holds a deep uh, seated grudge under his hood. He relies on a small st stature, sluggish movement, and rounded future. Uh, Future is to, to lure victims into a false sense of security before striking swiftly and suddenly plunging his knife in for the kill. An adorable knife wielding maniac, sulking with the Atelsha, or skulking with the Atelsha, whether it's a migrated from the Lucian's shore or which 
was natural born in a cardinal is the subject of a heated scholarly uh, debate. Yeah, he has like a little like knives and like you know like cartoon knives. It looks like it looks like it. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking bastard. Okay, what about this demon wall? Oh my god. See, a demon extremely bound to the home to his home is leashed out as an interloper with from within the very foundation of his habitat. Difficult by nature to spot. There was once thought to be only uh, only one specimen in existence, yet another had been observed subsequently. What? Oh, yeah, these were humans. Don't tell me Cindy or or uh, Sid, who else? The the other hunters became a fucking demon. Or it was only the Empire. Only the Empire. Maybe it's only only them. Do, do I actually have to walk all the way over there? What the fuck? Oh my god. So it's gonna take a fucking while. What is it, boy? Well, Something's coming. What? What? What's coming? It's a car! What the fuck? Who are you? Help me! A truck? Help me! <laughs> Sir! Uh... Yeah? It's me, uh, Talkit. My grandpa served the Amasidia family. Talkit? Yeah. No way. Yes way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. Yes, sir. That's that's right. Huh? Uh, just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay. Uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Wow. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah. You sure look different, though. You think so? Guess I've grown some these ten years. Ten years? <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they, anyway? Lestalem, more often than not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives him a call. <sighs> oh, uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime non-stop. Lestalem still has light thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time. But it usually isn't for repairs. These days, it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station. A base for demon hunting. The garage is still open, though. One of the few places that is. So, um, Sid, is he still alive and kicking? <laughs> He's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least, not since he moved out to Lestalem. Someone suggested he move the garage there, too. But old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big, fat, chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. That sounds like Sid, all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way. So the garage will probably stay put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. Worse. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead. He tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Ignis? He hunts too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. 
He said if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while, but each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? My god, this little child. Holy shit, 10 years! 10 years we've fucking been missing. We've arrived, Your Majesty. Everyone will be so happy to see you. Don't worry, I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. All you have to say for yourself after all this time. <laughs> Knocked! It's you! It's really Is you! It? I hadn't realized. Well, well. You kept us waiting. Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. We're gonna tell him that we had to go back home and he has to sacrifice? The final battle will commence once you leave Hammerhead. Be sure to spare no preparation. Final battle. Fuck. Alright, little dog. Okay, I can't even go back. I wanna see. I wanna see what, what they said. See, uh. The geophysical survey of the astrophoric condition. The presence of the suit-like photonic particles was confirmed in a sample of a taken of a varying elevation, which notably higher concentration at higher attitude. All uh, photophilic uh, particles have begun to sub subsume the ozone layer and observe reduction of daylight on eels can be attributed primarily to their light absorbing properties. Yeah, give me a sec. I had to check what's the what's the uh, level I have to be to do the last mission. All right, all right, check. I check. It's level forty-five. I am forty-four, so I am close. I am ready then. <laughs> I am ready to do this. I am ready to beat this game, even though I have like so many side missions I have not finished. And how many fucking weapons I'm missing? Four. God damn it! I'm missing four weapons. Oh, there's more lore. I want to see more. The fuck is this? Study the nature of the photophilic particles. On exemplifying multiple correlations between the photophilic particles responsible for the blight and the mutant strand of plasmidium associated with the demons, we have discovered a clear casual uh, relationship. Furthermore, given to the mass dispersal of photophilic particles upon death, the demon's presence is likely accountable for the violent geological shift of late. So there's a disease. Is it a night vision? Uh, the the vanishing the the vanishing disease? Yeah, who's the guys who sell the weapons? Who, where are they? Oh, here he is. What the fuck? Hey. What do you got? Oh. Oh shit. I need I need the sword. How much it costs? It costs 10,000! Holy shit! 8,000, 10,000. Oh my god! The Black Prince. Wait. Why the fuck Gladius doesn't have a fucking shield? He had a shield. See you later. The, the, do these guys are not equipped with shield or their weapons? Were you not equipped with this fucking shield? What the fuck? This whole time? Hey. 
It lost the shield. Quicksilver. Okay, he already has it. He already has it. Okay. Okay, that's one strong. It's just only. Let's see. Uh... Oh shit. What was the Thunderbolt? 345, 496. Shit. Okay, I want these two. Let me sell everything. Everything I have. <laughs> Just to get what I want. Let's see the javelin. How much this costs? Oh my god, they don't. 2,500. What's that? Thunderbolt. How much you got? I have one that stops. The rebellion. Got the blood sword. I'm using it right now. Okay, sell one of these. Yes. Wait, Hyperion. I already got one of these. What the fuck? I'll see you later. Let me see. I never know this. Shit. Wait, where the fuck is it? Wait, does Gladius has it? Yeah, he has it. What the fuck it looks like? Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, do do each and every one of them has like like the guns or weapons? Well, except Ignis, he has this like the same thing. Well, prompt he has the Quicksilver. Wait, wasn't the, wasn't it gold? I think it has a different gun. Hey. Okay, I'm just gonna try and buy this, the, the sword. Okay, I sell everything I have, the treasures. Alright, now change the gear, knock this. Alright, uh, the sword with this. What does that look like? Oh, that looks kinda cool. Okay, I got a golden sword now. Okay. Alright, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Wait, where the f oh, holy shit, we're far away. Pick up. Anyone in here? Oh, you're here! What the fuck? Welcome. I don't have enough money. I think Come I'm again. ready. Oh shit, I really know this. These are generators. What the fuck? I need a car. How do we get where we want to go? Wait, what's this? Old book. Let's see, how far is it? Oh my god! Head to the Crown City. How the fuck we head to the Crown City? Wait, let me rest. I want to get some XP. XP points. Now I need to come up with a plan. <laughs> if it please, your highness. There we go, I'm level 45. It's the recommended level to, uh, you know, to pass this fucking game. So yeah, no wedding just yet. <laughs> no wedding ever? Go figure. Hey, don't hate me. Hate the game, yeah, yeah. So we can't expect a formal introduction for some while then. Yeah, at least not till all of this is over. <laughs> can't in good conscience leave a girl to worry. While I rush headlong into danger. Right. Gee, you ought to teach a master class in romance. Or acting. No acting here. I keep it real with the ladies. <laughs> I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. The Imperial Army. Okay, okay, we'll have it to We even them. got some former Imperials fighting for us. The toughest of them said she used to lead a band of mercenaries. Aranea? So you do know her. Well, I'm not surprised. The Marshal said she was feared far and wide back in the day. But now she's revered among the Lucian masses. Same with her men, Biggs and Wedge. Each of them leads their own small army. <sighs> That's great. I'm more than happy to tell you everything okay. I know. The Imperials are helping us. Okay, the Empire. What happened to them? Oh, right. Uh, about the Empire. Huh. Gladio brought back word that both the Emperor and High Commander were dead. 
With those two gone, Niflheim pretty much fell apart. Yeah, figured. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Okay, RJ, anything about him? Because when we get here, nothing was said about him. The Chancellor's still around, though. In insomnia. Nobody who saw him had any clue what he might have been up to. Their stories piqued Ignis's curiosity. I ended up helping Ignis look into the matter, digging through old records, even joining him on trips to the royal tombs. Royally roped into it. <laughs> it's cool. I'm a bit of a history buff myself. But we did discover something pretty weird. Huh? While we were poring over all those ancient texts, one name caught our eye. Ardens. Apparently he was hailed as a savior, healing all those who were ravaged by demons, only to end up branded a demon himself. A dubious charge, I'd say. By all accounts, he was just as human as you and me. <sighs> I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. On the bright side, we've come a little closer to understanding the demons. And? You see, I'd always thought they were animals, only more hideous and savage. But it turns out they're just ordinary people. Unlucky folk infected by something or other that transformed them into monsters. There's no known cure as of yet. So death is the only mercy. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. We've got a lot of survivors pouring in from Accordo, too. What with all the demon attacks there as of late? Not like it's much better here. Lestalem's practically overflowing with refugees from Insomnia. The Empire's recovery assistance fell by the wayside, and demons overran the city. Thankfully, Iris and the Marshal managed to evacuate the civilians. Now there's no one left except the demons. I spent my childhood in the Crown City. It's sad knowing it's gone, you know? Not for long. Wh I became the king to reclaim our home, and now I'm back, as promised. All these years and you remembered. You bet. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Your Majesty? Do you remember my grandfather? Yeah. There's something I wasn't able to tell you back then. Grandpa died because of me. It was my fault. An Imperial officer approached me in town, asked if I was from the Crown City, and that was just the beginning. What brings you here, young man? You didn't come here by yourself, did you? Oh, your grandfather's a butler at a manor. How very grand. Oh, he rubs shoulders with the royal family. You must be ever so proud. I answered him without thinking. A little after that, the man showed up at our hotel. Talcott. Think what you will of me, but please know that Grandpa didn't give you away. Listen. Yeah? You're not a kid anymore. You should know by now what happened that day wasn't your fault. None of it. <sighs> You know, it's hard to ask someone about their pain, but it's just as hard to share your own with someone else. I appreciate you opening up to me, and I swear I'll make things right. But believe me when I say nobody blames you. Not me, not your grandpa. Trust me, you have the king's word. I suppose you're right, your majesty. Thank you. Something else? Safe travels, your majesty. You might actually go walk over there? What the fuck? I was ask I was trying to ask him to drive me over there. We had to go all the way here to this hometown. Fuck. Alright, let's get out then. Does the, does the gate open? Well, fellas, we're homeward bound at last. Time to suit up. Finally get to rock these threads. Wear them with pride. Yeah. Just hope they still fit. Oh. 
One last meal. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to pick a meal like each and every one likes. Uh, you know what? It's already telling us Noctis is gonna die. He has to sacrifice his life to help in like restore the the world from from the darkness. So he has to eat. He has to eat his favorite food. He he's good. <laughs> oh, let's pick this one. <laughs> 